Welcome everyone in Houston News. Today is August 8, 2018, and this is our daily cryptocurrency market news analysis to where we're here to give you all our price predictions according to the charts. And definitely today is a day where the market has taken a beating. Uh, you can look at coin market cap and see how a lot of these cryptocurrencies are in double digit losses. Uh, something that we have expected um, on our Houston News Patreon page, our members have definitely been on guard knowing that this day was going to come and i must tell you all if you are not a member of ours you will not be um, aware of these changes in the market before it actually occurs okay so what i'm saying is that a lot of people within this platform or within youtube or social media generally was trying to say that the cryptocurrency space was about to go on a bull run bitcoin was going to hit ten thousand. Uh, August was going to be the turn for the altcoins to move higher in price and none of those things are on the horizon to occur and once you understand understand language analysis you guys can definitely become more proficient in your trading you can also forecast where prices are likely to go so you can be prepared for days such as this all of our members have been known for at least the last four or five days that the market for the cryptocurrency space is still weak and today was just an affirmation of that coming to fruition so if you're still interested in learning more about this or staying abreast of the market moves in the cryptocurrency space then you definitely have to become a member of ours on our hefe news patreon page there's a lot of benefits going on there and i must say that you will not be alerted on our youtube channel as to when things changes in the market only of our members on our hefe news page are able to get that type of benefit once we notice changes in the market okay so you can look here on the top 10 cryptocurrencies and out of the top 10 at least four almost five of these cryptocurrencies are within double digit losses and definitely tells us by today long term these currencies have a lot lower to move okay so you cannot become complacent in the market even though a lot of you all may pay attention to the news the news is literally the charts okay you got to understand what the price bars and volume mean in order for the market to tell you exactly where it's going to go before the news actually come out so i'm not going to waste too much of your time I'm just going to go ahead and get into our analysis for today for some of these cryptocurrencies to show you how low they can potentially go over the next couple of days to weeks okay so the first one up is bitcoin you can see that this currency is down 5.07 percent uh last trade was six thousand two hundred seventy dollars and thirty cents and looking at the daily price chart for bitcoin you can see here that that six thousand cannot be broken i'm definitely expecting the market to continue to move lower in price uh, as I try to zoom out, you can see here that we have been hovering around this $6,6200 price level multiple times. And this is literally the last support for Bitcoin to hold in order for it to maintain consolidation on a wider scale. If it breaks $6,000, then definitely $5,000 would be the next logical area of support it might come down to around 5500 56 just give you a nice ballpark figure initially but then uh, we can see it continue to move lower in price back down towards five thousand dollars a quick look at the three hour chart for bitcoin three hour bars again weakness we are in a consolidation at the moment still could come down to 6100 6000 $150 as support and resistance can definitely be let me give you the resistance before I go uh, the resistance area is around 6360 maybe a little higher than that this last one hour bar definitely is an indication of some strength coming into the market so if this next one hour bar in fact closes above expect Bitcoin to stay within consolidation and trade back up towards 6350 and maybe a little higher than that throughout trading tomorrow around 6400 6450 i can see bitcoin coming up there just to trade i'm not expecting it to hold support or move substantially higher than that matter of fact expecting the currency to continue to move to the downside long term 
Okay, so the next one is going to be Ethereum. So we're looking at Ethereum right now. This currency is down 5.19%. Last trade was $356.26. Daily price chart for Ethereum. You guys can see that we definitely got continuation movement lower in price. Uh, Ethereum can definitely continue to move back down towards $300. That's literally what I'm expecting this currency to come towards. Uh, we are holding support right here around the tops of these bars during the middle half of October 2017. If Ethereum breaks that price, we will continue to move substantially lower in price. And given the amount of volume that came into the market today, literally, I'm expecting that to occur even though in the short term into the next couple of days we can consolidate and even move a little bit higher but weakness is still being apparent on the three hour bars I am expecting this currency to consolidate and move a little bit higher just for the fact we have made substantial movement to the downside obviously you would expect the market participants to hold support and move a little bit higher in trading tomorrow but definitely need long term I'm still expecting Ethereum to continue to move to the downside now for tomorrow uh, expecting consolidation 350 as support resistance can be around 365 even 370 uh, this is a probable because it's a strength bar in the market so this next three hour bar in fact closes above then yes we will continue to move higher but only to prior areas of resistance okay now, literally looking at the one hour chart for Ethereum, we are getting some strength into the market. So I am expecting this currency to move higher only in the short term, back up to levels of resistance, 364, possibly $368 into tomorrow's trading. OK. Now, the next one is going to be Litecoin. Uh, looking at Litecoin, you can see this currency is down almost 6.29%. Last trade was $62.49. A uh, quick look at the daily price bar for Litecoin, pretty much just like with Ethereum. Uh, definite indications of market weakness, the volume as well as increasing. So as I try to zoom out on a daily price chart, let's see on a weekly to try to determine where support can be at for Litecoin. So definitely, uh, if we end the week, the weekly chart price bar the way that it looks now definitely expect continuation movement lower back towards fifty dollars maybe at around fifty two dollars over the next couple of days to weeks okay but the daily price chart definitely continues to give us weakness in the market i'm not looking for ethereum uh, ethereum sorry litecoin to move high we are trading around a lot of consolidation uh, the market has held support in or around $52. So we have a longer downside movement to go in Litecoin. Three hour bars, you guys can see. Uh, short term, we are holding some support momentarily. But again, long term, I'm still looking for Litecoin to move to the downside. Uh, tomorrow's trading, we can move a little bit higher in price. We'll do a quick look at the one hour bar to show you where resistance will be for Litecoin. And currently it is towards the highs of these bars around sixty three dollars and fifty cents I can see it coming up to sixty five but it's going to take a lot more volume a lot more uh, spread bars up bars in order to us to move higher back up towards the sixty five dollars but we can come back up towards the sixty four dollar range maybe a little higher than that sixty four dollars and twenty five cents into tomorrow's trading so right now I am noticing indications of some slight strength so I am expecting Litecoin to move higher in the short term, but definitely long term the directory for all of these altcoins will be continuation to the downside. So if you don't understand how to day trade or even take small profit out the market, then definitely you need to wait on the sidelines until we get a definite change in tone in market. So now uh, the last one is going to be EOS. So taking a look at EOS, you can see this currency is down 12.64% right now. Uh, last trade was $5.61. Uh, 
uh, definitely getting a lot of indications of weakness in all of these altcoins uh, weekly chart for EOS I want to show you all where support for EOS can possibly be and definitely $5 is going to be crucial for EOS to stay above in order for us to at least maintain some indications of strength or even consolidation if EOS breaks $5 on the weekly chart then definitely it's going to come down to $4 even lower than that $3 in the market which is definitely something that a lot of people don't want to know but nevertheless we are unbiased in our analysis and will give you the truth as to what the market is telling us and the daily price chart for EOS definitely confirms the fact that we have a lot uh, lower to move over the next couple of days we may actually consolidate into tomorrow's trading and I will give you that consolidation range in EOS so uh, the one hour chart should give us a better depiction of where that consolidation range will be and right now we are getting some strength into the market five dollars and seventy cents I can see it moving up towards five dollars and ninety cents into tomorrow's trading if it can break five dollars and seventy cents but at the moment we are noticing indications of slight strength coming into the market for EOS as well so short term yes expect EOS to continue to move higher in price I'm not expecting an all-out uh, push to go a bar to come into the market for any of these altcoins but nevertheless there is some slight strength being revealed on these bars so I am looking for the currencies to move only slightly higher but then again we will resume back down to lower prices long term so that will be my analysis for EOS as well um, before I go just want to give you all a quick analysis seeing weakness apparent short term yes expect some of these currencies to move only higher back up towards prior areas of resistance okay now if you're still interested in learning more about this language analysis that we possess then definitely come on over to our here for news patreon page but that's all I got for today make sure you all maintain your profitability and I will see you all later